it out is an evening of excerpts from three plays, Washed Up on a Potomac by Lynn Rosen, Hidden in this Picture by Aaron Sorkin, and Jerry and Tom by Rick Cleveland. They're all plays about the workplace, and Washed Up on the Potomac uh, is perhaps your most traditional office comedy, a very wry and witty and sardonic look at a group of freelance proofreaders. I hope to bring some more candy. Eat my almonds, they're organic. Almonds are full of arsenic, I read that. Oh, uh, that's true. Good. Let's all die. At least we wouldn't have to do this crappy work. Who are suddenly forced to go full time or quit. They're all people who have, or dreamers who have put those dreams on hold for, in some cases, years while they just make a living. And at the end of the play, they are forced to either become full time or leave. So, tough choices there. Hidden in this picture is a one act by Aaron Sorkin, who wrote West Wing, and it's full of Sorkin's trademark witty banter. Uh, it's about a director in upstate New York, filming the last shot of his movie, trying to grasp the last shreds of artistic integrity, when three cows walk into the final shot of the picture. I don't think anyone in the audience is gonna notice. I mean, sure, they're gonna notice. They're gonna see these three cows in silhouette against the sunset, but I don't think they're gonna find that strange. You don't? No. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> I call it instinct. I don't think people are gonna find that strange. I find it a little strange. You find it strange? I find it strange. Christine, find it strange. You wanna talk about playing the lowest common denominator? <laughs> and all hell breaks loose and he has to decide what to do. Am I gonna try to fix it? Am I gonna accept this? Move on? Give up being a director? What am I gonna do? The Final play uh, of the three, Jerry and Tom, which actually is the heart or the meat of the evening, concerns a completely different workplace. Uh, it's two hitmen, Jerry and Tom. Uh, Tom is the older one who plays as mentor to Jerry, the younger hitman, and sort of takes him on a path from novice assassin to practiced killer uh, over the course of the play, and we see him, we see Jerry fall deeper and deeper into his profession until he's unable to extricate himself from it. I mean, everyone has thoughts like that at one time or another, you know, what would it be like to kill my wife and kid, but those are just thoughts and there's a world of difference between thinking a thing and actually doing it, I know that. But there I am, with the muzzle of the gun pointed at my kid's head stuck. As they say, blood in, blood out, uh, when you speak about uh, the mafia or hitmen in general. Uh, so it's three completely different takes on the workplace. Uh, uh, one more traditional, one very funny and crazy, and one set in the world of Chicago hitmen.